Yes, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's Eagle Talks Football. We are back again with another video, and today we are speaking about Mikel Moreno. We are speaking about outgoing potential Arsenal transfers, and could we get one more major incoming signing before the window closes? All this needs to be discussed because, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys know and you've been looking out for the news over the last couple of weeks, we've been hearing about Kingsley Coleman. We've been hearing about Yokarez. We've been hearing about Fabio Vieira potentially getting sold. We've been hearing about uh, freaking Kavior potentially getting sold. Kieran Tierney updates. All of these stories have been popping up. And in that time, we also played our first game of the Premier League campaign. Yes, Arsenal beat Wolves. And you guys, if you haven't already checked out my match reaction and my player ratings, please do. But to just give you a sneak preview, I had an absolute rate and rant and a tirade on everything that happened with the referees not giving Kai Havertz a call when that guy choked him and Gabriel Jesus getting his butt slapped also by that same player. How he he did not get a red card, it, may, it beats me. If you guys know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Also, um, there has been uh, there has been some great performances from the likes of Kai Havertz and Bakayo Saka in that game. Also, David Rea was solid. And we got a clean sheet, a win, three points. We keep it moving. Now, we need to talk about transfers. Before we, uh, before we go any further, I will be doing a full show tomorrow with the Arsenal panel, ready to go at around 10 p.m. And I might do a call-in show if I can at some point also. But right now, I need you guys to do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button button and 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 we need we need to get this show started straight with the Mikel Moreno latest updates on Mikel Moreno you guys know we have been on Mikel Moreno watch for a little while now and we have we haven't gotten too many updates that we haven't already known about but this one it's getting closer ladies and gentlemen it's getting closer so don't go anywhere hit that like button hit that subscribe button let's get this let's get straight to business because i need to tell you guys exactly what's happening so I seen here that Mikel Moreno notified his his club uh, was at his club's previous game. He was not dressed, he was not playing, but he was there and he was basically saying goodbye to his teammates and everything else because that was that was his that was like his final day. I think that was he was he was at the stadium and basically saying goodbye to his teammates and everything else. Let me let me find let me find that image. So I was on Team News Ticks and I seen. Uh, I seen a bunch of people talking about uh, about it the other day. So one second, one second. Let's let's just work our way backwards. So first thing we have uh, the agent. Uh, sorry, not the agent. The uh, one of the people, the manager of Sociedad, saying this. The manager of Sociedad had this to say the other day. Let's read it. Imanol Alguasol, Real Sociedad manager. There are no two players like Marino and Lenormand, but they are not here. I can't even say Zubamendi will not leave at the last minute. They are irreplaceable players for us. We cannot look for excuses when these players are not here. There you go. So they're basically consider Mikel Marino already gone from the club. They, they're not even viewing him as their own player. And then there's another update here from Dean Jones, well-respected journalist. You guys already know he uh, who he is from Give Me Sport. What they say in this in this uh, tweet here is that Arsenal are getting clo uh, closer to completing the signing of Mikel Moreno with the next 24 hours. Um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Give Me Sport sources revealed that the club are close to giving the green light to complete the formalization and put Moreno through the medical testing. So the medicals haven't been booked yet. It hasn't officially been done yet, but it is getting closer and closer. We even had another update here where Fabrizio Romano said uh, yesterday that um, we are in the final meters, in the final details, Mikel Moreno to the Arsenal deal uh, with my sources indicating that it could be uh, something like 24 to 48 hours before we say, here you go. It is really, really close. And there's almost, uh, they're, they're almost working on the final steps. Now, they've been working on the final steps of this deal for a while now. It, they've been working on it for at least two to three weeks, if you could say that, over the payment structure, the deal, the add-ons, and just trying to get this deal done. We've already agreed personal terms with the player. That isn't a problem. Mikel Moreno will be an Arsenal player. It just seems like they are 
trying to dot their T's and cross their I's and have all their areas of the uh, area sorted. Now, that is very interesting that that is pretty much almost done. We know that that's almost done now, and we're just waiting to see what happens next. Now, in the meanwhile, I'm just gonna before we before we go any further on any transfer news. Did you guys see what happened? What happened the other day? Um, there was there was a lot of there was a lot of arguments over Arteta and Unai Emery. It, uh, a madness was going on online as AFTV sparked the debate about Arteta and Unai Emery, who's the better manager. We're going to be playing Aston Villa this week, so we're going to see who who has the better yeah who has the better uh, who gets outmanaged on the day. But of course, a lot of people still siding with Unai Emery and preferring Unai Emery over Mikel Arteta in 2024. Let's be honest: if any club in world football was coming for these two managers, they would pick Arteta over Unai Emery every day of the week at this moment in time. But People just want to look at his CV and say oh, Emery's better. If uh, let's let's keep it real. Um, next, let's go to the actual next topic, which is KVR. KVR is being linked away from the club. KVR is being linked to two clubs. First of all, KVR was linked to Crystal Palace recently, and now KVR is being linked to leaving again. There is a serious uh, possibility that KVR to leave, but my sources guarantee me that as of today, there is no concrete talks with any club. My understanding is that Kivior would love to return to Italy. Now, Kivior would re- love to return to Italy, but there is also a certain Crystal Palace who are interested in Kivior, which, I, which I, I, I heard about earlier today. So with Crystal Palace being a club that's interested in Kivior, that could be a situation, but he could also return to Italy as AC Milan, Juventus, and others have shown interest in him in the past. Now, there is also an update about Eddie and Ketia's situation. As at this moment in time, the Arsenal squad is just too big. We have too many players in the Arsenal squad, if you guys don't know. And we need to we need to find a way to shift out some of these guys. So Eddie and Ketia could be headed out. We will have to wait and see what happens. It, uh, if Eddie and Ketia is on his way, and that could maybe give us and free up some more space for us to get rid of some players. As understood that Bournemouth will not be signing Eddie and Ketia. Now we heard that Crystal Palace could be still uh, could be still interested in Eddie and Ketia. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. That is a I heard something about Palace being interested. One second. Was it Palace interested in him or yeah, so three hours ago, we heard Nottingham Forest and Crystal Palace are interested in Eddie and Ketia. Let me show you. So Nottingham Forest and Crystal Palace are remaining in dialogue with Arsenal over the potential signing of Eddie and Ketia. This coming from Sky Sports. So we're going to have to wait and see if there's more information on that. We also have an update on Reese Nelson as Leicester still remain in interest uh, for Reese Nelson, although he has 120k a week wages. So we're going to have to wait and see if any of those deals can escalate and we could potentially get some player sales. At this moment in time, there is no major update on Aaron Ramsdale. We will have to wait and see if there will be any major updates on Aaron Ramsdale. But the main update today is Mikel Moreno. And of course, that people are saying we should we should be potentially seeing the exit very soon of, of somebody else. Could be Kivior, could be Fabi, uh, could be Eddie Nketiah, could be... Reese Nelson, but there's also other uh, there's also other players like the likes of Kieran Tierney, who people are even saying that he could potentially be exiting soon. No update at this moment in time, as he was involved with Arsenal in the media day. We will have to see if Eddie and K- uh, if if Kieran Tierney will be amongst one of those players who end up leaving Arsenal. But at this moment in time, there's been no concrete news saying he will be leaving. Uh, once I get more information on him, I will let you know. There has been information also from uh, that Crystal Palace today that Palace want Kivior, as Crystal Palace are looking for more defensive backup. Kivior uh, uh, to Crystal Palace has been has been rumored. Kivior also has been rumored to uh, a lot of clubs in Italy. We will have to see what happens with Kivior and where he ends up. One of the Milan clubs have been uh, seriously after him also. So that is another possibility with him. Um, what else is there today? If you guys don't know, Ivan Tony was not in the Brentford squad. So that is a possi- uh, that is a potential possibility also that Ivan Tony could still be joining Arsenal. We will have to wait and see if there's any update on that. But at this moment in time, 
All we know is that Ivan Tony was not selected uh, to to uh, on the Brentford team, and him not being selected with the squad, he is one to watch in the market as he could potentially end up in Arsenal, he could potentially end up at Man United, he could potentially end up at Chelsea, or he could potentially just end up at Al Hilal. The reality of the situation is all Man United seem to be the only Premier League club interested in getting him. The other club that's interested in getting him is Al Al Hilal. And and if he goes to the Saudi League, he will be getting generational wealth. There's ten uh, uh, there's a short list revealed 10 days ago so and he's on it so we'll have to wait and see what happens with him Fabrizio Romano also gave us an update on Mikel Moreno um where is it let me find it actually Fabrizio Romano gave us an update on Ilkay Gundogan Ilkay Gundogan could be headed back to Man City and there's even Arsenal fans asking would they take Ilkay Gundogan at Arsenal personally for me I'm saying no I'm saying no to Ilkay Gundogan First of all, he's 33 plus. He has a back problem, and that could that could be that could be a problem waiting to happen. So I I literally had I, I had a tweet here from AFC stuff asking our uh, Ilka Gunawan to Arsenal discuss, and I just said 33 years old with a back problem. No, that very simple. Uh, I, let's see what other people are saying. Some people are saying. Uh, uh, he won't downgrade to that much <laughs> rivals. He rejected us to move to Barca, so let him keep his ways, please. Yeah, he did reject us in the first place to go to Barca. That is true. So why would we go for Ilkay Gundogan now? Let me just see if there's any Victor Jokerez updates. Last time I checked, there's no real updates on Victor Jokerez. Last time I checked, the only recent update on Aaron Ramsdale is that he, at this moment in time, he has a, we haven't found an exit for him. But if we do find a club for him to go to, we will then immediately swiftly move for uh, Joao Garcia, who's playing at Espanyol. But at this moment in time, we will have to just wait and see and be patient. Arsenal do have an issue where we have a lot of first-team players and we need to shift out some of these first-team players. For example, if we look at the... If we go on the Arsenal website quickly, let me just show you guys. Go on the Arsenal website. Go to the team. We got uh, we got two go uh, goalkeepers. We're fine. Attackers. If we're going to have a full squad plus a bench, you look at it this way: Saliba, Ben White, Gabriel, and uh, say K uh, say Calafiri are starting, right? Then you potentially have Tomiyasu, Zinchenko, KVR, Timber all on the bench. That's four defenders on the bench and Kieran Tierney. One of those guys are not going to make the squad. Then you're also going to have um, midfield. You're going to have three-man midfield of Rice, Odegaard, Partey. With, uh, with Moreno here, we're now going to have a total of six midfielders because I'm going to put Kai Havertz as an attacker. And midfield, we're covered. We're going to have six solid midfielders. Um, then you go to forwards. We're going to have Saka, Havertz, Jesus, Martinelli, Eddie Nketiah, Trossard, Reese Nelson. We need to move off at least one or, or both of Reese Nelson and Eddie Nketiah to free up more space in the squad to try to get uh, to try to get them on. Because let's be honest, how many room, how many players can you have on the bench, and how many players could you actually have in your squad before before you? We're we're not going to pull a Chelsea, guys. We're not we're not going to pull a Chelsea. That's just ridiculous. And yeah. That is pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing more to be said. Nothing more to be said about anything else at this moment in time. I hope you guys are uh, are enjoying are uh, are enjoying the start of the new season. Are you are you enjoying everything that you're seeing with Arsenal? I hope you're enjoying the fact that we're we're, we're going to be playing in a lot more crosses this season. We're going to be a lot more focused uh, on how we how we perform throughout throughout the game and Arsenal overall. You cannot lie. That game against Wolves is just the beginning of something special. I really do believe this season is going to be our year. And just looking over at Manchester City, they although they beat Chelsea, it wasn't a it wasn't like a battering. It was it was a it was a it was a calm two 0 where for us we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see where we go. Anyways, I'm I'm rambling now at this point. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys like the video. Join the family by subscribing and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.